Alrighty, so this is where this project is at. I've uh, had it out. I've done quite a bit of test driving with it. I've got, I don't know, definitely several hours of running this thing. Uh, I don't know how many miles I've put on it. Uh, so far it's actually worked really well, except that I have bent a rear axle on it. So I'm going to try to resolve this bent axle issue. I'm almost thinking I should have just put rear independent on this thing in the first place, but anyways, I didn't. I wanted to try this setup. And it actually, I'm surprised, it does actually work quite well. Uh, these are very cheap shock absorbers. Uh, I'm hoping to eventually upgrade to better shocks, but this thing actually does handle quite well. The suspension works quite well, and I do have uh, a fair amount of travel in the rear. It, uh, it, it actually exceeded my expectations. I didn't even think it was gonna work as good as it does. Anyways, let's get to fixing this axle. sure how well that shows up on the camera but that right there is axle failure bent the end of that axle so let's see what can make it stronger so when I originally put the axle in the swing arm I used one two three four five six bearings I braced up all the brackets really solid you know, kind of put little gussets on that one and this one over here and these ones are welded to each other and I thought to myself you're so smart that's never gonna bend that axle not a chance you'll ever bend it well note to self you're not that freaking smart because guess what you bent the axle dummy so at this point I'm trying to figure out what is the best solution to the spent axle uh, I thought about going to a, a larger diameter axle uh, I don't have a lot of stuff readily available to me where in the world I live. So uh, I do have a few thoughts, but I found a place online in the city where I live that hardens metal. So I went and I bought the same axle basically, uh, cut it to the right length, drilled and tapped the ends, and I took it to this place to have it hardened. And it turns out they stopped doing that two years ago. Maybe it would have been best if I had checked that ahead of time. But I didn't, so I kind of hooped myself there. They should update their website. Uh, anyways, so what I did today is I took this axle down to a shop that I used to work at. I uh, used their oxyacetylene. I heated up about eight inches on the end, going red hot on both sides, and then quenched it with the hope that I hardened the end of these uh, this this axle because that's all that bent uh, the first time. It's just from the the outer bearing to the very end, which is only about four inches. I was actually, I'm still actually a little bit baffled that it bent that because the center of the tire is almost right over top of the, the bearing. So I just thought it wouldn't bend, but clearly I thought wrong. So I don't know if this is gonna hold up or not, but I've never tried to harden steel before. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to be optimistic, but if it fails, I have a few more ideas.
So when I was taking this bearing off the bent axle, I accidentally broke the uh, grease seal, uh, grease dust seal off it. So I'm just putting this one on temporary for now. I'm gonna go and hopefully pick one up from our local Princess Auto. I think they stock them. I hope I don't have to order one. So one thing that I thought would fail before my axle is uh, this hub uh, folding over on the uh, axle sleeve, uh, especially how tall my tires are. I didn't know if it would be strong enough. Uh, you know, these are just modified go-kart hubs. So my I put these gussets on here like this to potentially correct that issue. Um, I still have to do the other one, but that's my plan so far.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here because this axle repair was a fail. I pretty much knew when I did it, uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. Uh, I pretty much knew it was gonna fail. I just basically, it's summertime, I wanna drive this thing, so I just basically patched it back up so I could take it out and rip it some more and have fun with it. I didn't wanna spend all my time in the garage working on it. It's summer, I wanna enjoy summer. So anyhow, I have another idea to fix this axle, so hopefully it'll work better. Um, I do, I have a pretty good idea when the axle bent. I think I have it caught on video, so I'll share that with you. So right there, I am pretty sure that is when I bent the axle on this thing. So yeah, it's uh, not, doesn't seem to handle the uh, drifting uh, that I like to throw at it. So I guess for the weight of it and the size of the tires, that axle is just simply not strong enough. So have to come up with a better solution. So uh, come on back to the next one. Hopefully we'll have this uh, resolved so it works properly. And if you watched this far, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, come on back for more. All right, man, have a good one. Stay green. Mm-hmm.